So what legacy will you leave? Author Ben Newman tackles the topic and helps you harness the power to unleash your greatness. In his new book, it's called Leave Your Legacy. Ben joins us now along with number 51, Will Compton, a linebacker for the Washington Redskins. Good morning to both of you. Welcome. Gentlemen, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for us. having us. Ben, I cannot keep up with all the books that you have out. Congratulations <laughs> on your latest one. Thank you. Thank you. How long I'm just excited to be with all of you. Your energy is always great. It's always exciting. Oh, to be here. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you. Leave Your Legacy. Tell us about how, how you came about this with this book. So the book is really all about our opportunities to leave our legacies. And I think so oftentimes people wait or they think, oh, legacy will happen when I'm gone. Yeah. But the book is really all about our opportunities to connect to what you want your legacy to be and the impact we have the opportunity to make on individuals every day. Now, uh, Will, let's talk, uh, before we delve really deep into the book, how did you connect with Ben? Funny story, really. We. You know, in a nutshell, we met on Twitter. I'm somebody who's a very big uh, proponent in mental psychology of, in sport and in life and stuff. And I remember tweeting one time, I can't wait to get back home after my rookie OTAs. Um, I can't wait to get into the mental psychology of things. And Ben reached out to me saying, hey, do you want to meet up and work on things before you get into training camp? And I was like, heck yeah, man. And we met every Monday in a common place. And then he flew out to uh, D.C. during training camp. And... You know, we've been close ever since. So that's awesome. It's been and crazy. And you actually write about him in your book. Yeah, so I think that's the beauty of these types of relationships is Will really has become like family. And, you know, he inspires me. So even though maybe I'm supposed to be helping him, it's, it's an inspiration that goes two ways. So he actually is a character in the book. And, you know, there were so many times in Will's life where the world tried to tell him that the truth was something other than what he believed it to be and he decided to dig down deep, which is really our opportunity for all of us. Mm -hmm. He would dig down deep, unleash his greatness, and I was so inspired that yes, he actually is Wes Camden in the book. So for those that read the book, <laughs> the initials, Look Will Compton, <laughs> Wes Camden, that's that guy right there. <laughs> this is awesome, wow, I mean, I've never been written in a book before. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Cool uh, and speaking of honors, I mean, there's only 1,700 guys in the NFL signed to a contract, you're one of them. That in itself is a huge accomplishment. Absolutely. What, what's the difference maker when it comes to achieving greatness in life today? Oh man, if I could give any advice, you know, through my experience on working with Ben, um, reading or studying people online and reading books and things like that. Um, and then in my own experiences with the NFL, with uh, USANA uh, or with my screen printing company, um, you write down everything. Anything that you see as the end result, you write it down and then you backtrack. So what does that person look like? What do you look like on a daily basis that tailored towards what is an NFL linebacker doing every day and this and that. And I write so much down, it's crazy. But, um, you know, I just really believe in writing down a standard and living it every day because if you don't, you're going to go by your feelings every day and your feelings will at some point fail you because you'll succumb to any circumstance. Um, and also what I've experienced is with the status of, you know, being one of 1,700, um, when you finally achieve this, it's not as fulfilling as you think until you give it back to somebody else. So yeah. um, unless you live in service and showing people these secrets that you know, um, I don't think you're truly living, and that's where I get the, the most out of it is when I, I, I make a difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. And Bill, what words of advice can you give to people who want to be successful, they want to be motivated, they want to take on the world and leave a great legacy behind? I think he just gave it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the inspiration <laughs> goes both ways. I think it's just it's our service to others, right? What can you do with the gifts you've been given every day? What more can you do to just give those gifts away and make a difference in somebody else's life? Mm -hmm. well, I, it's kind of like a business, a business and a mission statement. You have to have that mission statement for your life and live by that every day, mm -hmm. no matter what you know trials or tribulations may may hit you Absolutely. on the day to day. Yeah, but, and you know you had a tragic story growing up. Your mom passed away very early, and you talk about how. There are significant moments in your life, but you took what happened to you and did something with it. And I think we all have those defining moments. And my mother, every single day, is my inspiration, which is now passed on to, to my two children, Isaac mm -hmm. and Kennedy Rose, and the opportunity to really inspire them to create their legacies long term. That's what my mom did. She faced adversity, yeah. but she helped me understand the mindset to persevere. And I just hope and pray that, that we can instill that in our children. What, what do you think is the, because when, when people face that adversity, some people, they'll fall into a deep depression and some people will fall into, I want to become a better person because of this. How do you become the latter as, as opposed to the former? I think it's having great relationships in life yeah. with individuals like this guy having mentors, reading great books, and focusing on solutions rather than problems. Mm -hmm. You know, we all naturally have that tendency to focus on the problem, 
which then becomes bigger and bigger and bigger as opposed to focusing on the solution. And mm -hmm. that's what I think I learned from my mom in her journal. She wrote, beat the statistics, beat the ads, combat anything, believe in yourself, purpose in life. And that's why amyloidosis was actually taking her life. She was still believing and having purpose. And I think that's really a lesson for all of us. And looking at your book and just thinking about leaving behind a legacy, everything that you do every single day builds your legacy because you don't know when you're going to pass. Correct. I think it's the, those daily habits, the mm -hmm. daily opportunity, right? It's not, hey, I'm going to skip a few days. It's every day just attacking that process and attacking that opportunity to mm -hmm. make a difference. Got about five seconds left. Redskins, how you looking? We're looking great. Super Bowl bound. <laughs> oh, HDTR, baby. Nice. <laughs> it's great well, having thank you, guys. you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take control of your life and leave your legacy. The book is already a number one bestseller, and you can pick up your copy on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, or at your local bookstore. Learn more about Ben at BenNewman.com. Dot net.